Hey Cancer and welcome to your monthly reading for the month of February 2022. This is the first series of monthly zodiacs so if you clicked on this video and you don't know who I am and I don't know who you are, uh, just imagine how special this is that through all the digital noise you found yourself here. Uh, so welcome, welcome. We'll start by uh, pulling a court card to see how you're showing up for the month of February. You are the Knight of Wands. So, are you going on some kind of adventure, um, Cancer? Uh, do you have some fire in your chart, possibly, Cancer? Hmm. In any case, I think you're feeling pretty bold. What is emboldening you and what is on your mind? We'll find out from the tarot in just a second. First, what is your opportunity? Well, that just flew right out. We have the strength card. Okay. So the opportunity is maybe finding some compassion for yourself. Um, bravery, right? And also, again, Leo. So fire is showing up again for you. Strength is the heart chakra. So maybe there's like an activation of the heart chakra, um, emboldening you, moving towards something that you feel um, passionate about. Cancer. All right, what is the challenge then? Uh, the seven of pentacles. Okay. Um, this has something to do with a time investment um, or nurturing something um, so hmm. uh, maybe you want to push things along something that d will require some time and so um, you know compassion for yourself is realizing when things take um, you know, need time to process um, and you're showing up very passionately um, wanting to move things forward um, that will require some sort of uh, resilience here, okay? Maybe that's why st strength is showing up. Uh, but maybe you contain enough energy within you, Cancer, to sort of keep this thing lit, okay? So let's see what else happens with this reading. Okay. Uh, the Ten of Swords showed up as your goal here. Um, Four of Wands as the foundation. And in the past, the Three of uh, pentacles. So I see you sort of, hold on. I see you sort of fighting for something. You're trying to get over some sort of destructive um, cycle. The Ten of Wands, or sorry, the Ten of um, Swords is that image of like <laughs> the person being stabbed a bunch of times, but the message is you know, the desire to overcome something very painful. And it's almost an, pa the pattern here, there's, a, there's patterns sort of showing up for me of like something, um, either a cognitive pattern or maybe it's a belief that you have um, around a foundation. Literally the four of wands showed up in your sort of foundation um um, how do I say the, uh, the position, right? The foundation position is the foundation card, 1111. So it's almost like something from your past, some, some sort of formative experience. You are wanting to like reconnect or revisit something from a foundational experience in order to address something that you want to move move past, move fo move past or move forward on. You want to have a win with something is what I'm getting. And to do that, you need to get over some kind of uh, belief or pattern that you have. I think you're willing to overcome this. Your energy is definitely showing up as like, I'm going to do it. I'm definitely going to do that. And you have a lot of, you're showing up as resilient and you're showing up as having a lot of strength, aka compassion for yourself. And Honestly, I don't think you particularly care how long it takes because what I see here is is simply just this win. And so 
you may have your eye on the prize and like really um, wanting to have um, this connection. So the message for the challenge for you, Cancer, this month is to make sure you're not uh, being too brash or um, forward as you move toward your goal. As in, um, make sure that you're taking action in a way that is fair for all of the all all those involved. Yeah. Yeah, you're motivated because this is something that has caused you pain and and you are ready to move past it. So you're extremely motivated in for that. Uh, your hopes and fears is that the situation won't change. You need to you're so yeah, the emperor there there's there's Aries. So you got two Yeah, so far two of the um, two fire signs showed up. So either you have fire in your chart, or you're dealing with somebody fire. I feel like this is somebody who's got like a like a this is a steamy cancer. This is somebody who's got fire and water in their chart. And so, I mean, we all do. We have all of those. But I'm just saying, like, you're in a very strong position. Um, I think that you've been hurt and you want to make something right i think you want to set something straight you're um moving towards this pretty quickly and your fear is that this won't change that something won't change or that something you won't be able to get some you won't be able to get what you want out of it and so that's why i think you're taking control Interesting. So what what else? Um, be aware of how you're doing it though, Cancer. Let's see more about this Five of Swords. Oh, I felt that the cards just totally shifted in my hand. The judgment, the Magician, Ten of Cups. The message for you, Cancer, is, is in this outcome. I think you... I think you can be successful, but you have to, there is a level of self-awareness you need to have of how you're creating your happiness. The Ten of Cups is here. I think you're going to get what you want. I get the feeling that you're sort of like sick and tired of this thing, whatever this thing is. Uh, show me the foundation. What is, what is this thing in the past that Cancer's got, is hooked on here? Two of Wands, Knight of Swords, Eight of Eight of Swords. So I think that in the past you feel like you made the wrong choice about a situation regarding um, either um, a community or some somebody's energy that you wanted to be around. I feel like you made a decision, um, an impulsive decision. Um, around this situation where, you know, we have the Eight of Swords. It's when, like, we don't want to see anything. We're like, la, 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 la. <laughs> it's a bit of self-sabotage energy. It's like self-victimization self a little bit. But that's that just tells me how painful of a situation this was for you. And so, um, again, strength is your opportunity, as the card of opportunity is saying here, in the face of fear, have compassion for yourself. That is that self-awareness, that kind of vulnerability that wants to um, shine through as you move forward with your goals. Again, you're showing up as the Knight of Wands, the fiery sort of bold personality seeking adventure, seeking something, you know, they're driven by their, their passion. Just don't let that passion burn you. And so I think passion with strength, with, with that vulnerability, is your little bit of secret sauce for the month of February, Cancer. I wonder what it is you're dealing with. Um, why don't we look at 
the outcome as the emperor. Or rather, the three of wands, this environment card. Some sort of personal growth here. What kind of expansion? What are we looking at in the month of February for Cancer? Whoa. Whoa. Um, the Three of Wands was clarified by the Six of Swords, the World, and the Ace of Cups. The end of an era. Either literally moving or transporting yourself, moving um, or just energetically moving the end of an era and the ace of cups talk about new beginnings Yeah, so this is this is a bit of an adventure for you A new beginning for cancer in the month of February uh, Very happy for you Let's look at the Emperor now, like I was saying, as the outcome card, and we'll wrap it up there. The King of Wands. You see that transformation from the Knight of Wands to now the King of Wands. Page of Swords. And the Eight of Wands. Um, two cards indicating messages or a message or something happening quickly so you might be sending a lot of messages you might be saying um, hey I'm in town um, hey um, I've changed this about my life I'm moving on where are you at what are you doing? Because also the King of Wands is like this very influential figure. And he um, is a masterful delegator, if you will. He can move mountains, I think, with his um, inspirational speech. And again, another fire sign. So um, whoever this cancer is for, this reading is for, the cancer that this is for, um, has definitely lit the fire uh, within them. And so messages are either coming to you or you are going to be communicating a lot with other people. And I see that also because it, um, the Three of Pentacles is here indicating collaboration as well. So, yeah, be mindful of others. Um, but, you know, live your life. You're on this great adventure. Um with the rest of us on this planet earth so i hope that you enjoy it um if you like the reading stick around subscribe and uh i'll see you on the next one